Dairy farming in Kenya is one of the lucrative agricultural activities with unlimited potential. Kenya is famous as one of Africa's continent's largest dairy product manufacturers. It is a candid opportunity for farmers in the country to make a living. Kenya has a population of approximately 9,350,000 dairy cows. While it is easy to talk about such an industry, it is much harder to start dairy farming in Kenya. But only until you have a clear idea about the entire deal as well as a knack for good business. At the heart of this industry is one Simon Muhoro. His farm, Josimo Dairy Farm, is six acres in size. It is located in Kahuru Village, Kinangop constituency, Nyandarwa County. He purely focuses on dairy farming. Majina ni Simon Muhoro. Mi mwenye ya mwenye farm hii. Farm ina intuwa Josimo Dairy Farm. Na tunapanya na bibi yangu. Na watoto na pia wafanyi kazi. Hii farm huwa narima ngombe peke yake. Hakuna mwabu ingine ni ngombe. Jasimo Farm has been in operation for the past 12 years. He was moved to start the dairy farm due to continued disappointment from crop failure and low prices of crop yields. Um, kila kini nifanya ni anze kufunga ngombe na kama kurusha ngombe ni mazao ya chakula ambao tunauza yanakuwa bei inaenda chini mala hewa inakuwa mbaya basi nikaonelea ngombe ni ukulima mzuri challenges are part of the success journey simon has had a taste of this his main challenge though was the poor quality genetics of the one cow that he started with he has, however, overcome this challenge through proper breeding over the past 12 years he has been running the farm. He is now happy that he has pedigree cows. I was born with a dog that was not a dog. I was born with a dog that was a bleeding. I was born with a dog that was a dog. So for the, for the last 12 years, I've uh, been breeding. I'm going to get to this level. I'm going to get to this level. I'm going to get to this pedigree level. Stagnation is most at times say to be retrogressive. Growth is a positive sign of progression. Simon has experienced growth of his farm. He has increased the number of his milking cows to four. He also has four heifers. He has however culled several old cows and those that are not performing well. The small farm has grown well. Tangu nipoanza. Yanza kama ngombe ni kidogo sana. Sasa imeanza kuwa kubwa. Nimelikuwa nimeongeza ngombe. Nimekuwa mingi. Then I have been calling them. Nakuwa kidogo na zipunguza. Sabu yungine ni mze. Sasa these ones are young ones. Yeah. Nimekuwa na challenges kidogo. Nakonjua. Sometimes hewa inakuwa challenge. Sa hii wenye wako sasa ni nne. Nilikuwa na wengine nikawauza kwa sababu ya ya inch I have been calling them kwa sababu nataka ngombe wakuwe wazuri na tena hewa inakuwa challenge pia the dry weather that we had last year ilinifanya nipunguze ngombe Simon's day is well planned he tells us that he wakes up at around 5.30 a.m. He milks his cows at 6 a.m. He then feeds his cows on dairy mill, lucerne and silage. The lucerne and dairy milk proportion that he feeds his cows are depending on the stage of lactation as well as production. He feeds his cows ad libitum as in feed is available in the troughs throughout the day. Water is also provided ad libitum. He disposes the leftover feed the following morning before putting fresh feeds. He milks three times a day, that is early in the morning, over lunch hour, and finally in the evening. Uh, Napo amuka, tunaanza na kukamua. Kukamua, tunakamua saa kuminambiri. Kisha mbaada kukamua, tunazipatia daily meal. Kiasi cha 
two, two, two to three kgs per animal, depending on the, the level of the young vehicle. We have a lot of animals, and we have a lot of animals. Na yenye imeza tunaipatia tuna steam up tunaipatia kilo 4. Alafu baada ya Dele uh, Delemir tunaipatia Rusan. Rusan ambayo imesiagwa tunaipatia kisha baadaye tunapatia mahindi. Sana wakati sairage iko tunaipatia sairage. Inakuwa ilikula throughout the day. Mimi huwa naweka chakula kwa hii the, 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 the traps the whole day. Asa naweka mara moja na shida ikikula the whole day. Asubuhi ndio natoa ile ambayo imembakia na itupa. Huwa nakamua mara tatu kwa siku. Asubuhi saa 12 na saa samba ya jioni alafu saa kumi na mbili ama saa moja ya jioni. Calf rearing has been a challenge to many farmers. This has led farmers to losing their calves, especially before they are weaned. In order to raise healthy calves, Simon makes sure that he has fed his calves with 4 liters of colostrum within 10 hours after birth. He feeds his calves on 6 liters daily, that is 3 liters twice a day. He does this for 3 months. When the calf is a few weeks old, Simon introduces the calf to Lisan and dry feeds to make sure that the calf gets a healthy, well-balanced diet. Simon weans his calves at three months of age. After weaning, he continues feeding the heifers until they're 18 months old when they're served. He weighs his heifers every week and has them served when they attain 300 to 360 kilograms. <laughs> Uh, naipatia ile manzuo ya kwanza colostrum uh, na make sure imekunywa ime 4 kg before 10 hours zisha na kunywa the, 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 the colostrum alafu sasa naanza kuirisha na hiyo maziwa naipatia asubuhi uh, 3 kg na jioni 3 kg mpaka miezi mitatu ishe then i do the winning uh, after three months, uh, nafanya wini. Na ipatia, lakini huwa naipatia lusan. Iyo ndama, sabi ya protein. Na napatia dry. Uh, dry feeds. Mpaka miezi, uh, mpaka mwezi, miezi ya kumi, kumi na mbili. Huwa napatia ndume when the uh, ndama imekua one and a half years. Nina kile kifacha kupima ngombe. Ikifigisha 3 and a half, uh, 350 kg na ni najua na nakuwa na, huwa na record sasa hizi zile ndama ambazo ziko nazo ninapima kila wiki every week huwa napima ikifika 350 ama to 400 kg sasa hiyo ngombe imefika imekomaa sasa kuwa sawa na pia uh, unahesabu wakati hiyo ngombe ilizaliwa kwa sababu nimeweka record ya kila ndama Hata hizi zote kila ngombe iko na record yake. Ninajua mama yake, baba yake na umejua uzao wa wa hii ngombe. Kila kitu najua. Kwa hivyo nikiangalia record naona hii sasa imefika. Na sana sana hata ina in it ID in a common heat it comes on heat even before one and a half months is. Na huwa na hesabu kwa sababu imefikisha the, 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 the right weight. 3 300 to 350 up. Na you steam up two months uh, to calving, I do the steaming up. And then, wakati uh, mefikia mwisho, one month to calving, sasa naipatia daily meal, naipatia rusan kwa wingi, kuipiripea for calving. Then, uh, naipatia, naiweka kwa hii paddock, nime set aside, so I'm, I'm on the process ya kutengeneza maternity for the calving animals. So, cutting a calf, sasa, na yanza tena. Diseases can be devastating to a farmer, especially to a dairy farmer, due to the loss of production during the convalescent and recovery period, veterinary cost, and death of cows. Simon has experienced a few of these incidences in his farm. He has been challenged by mastitis and bloat. 
He has lost three cows to mastitis and one to bloat. Mastitis is prevalent in slurry-laden pens where there is a proliferation of infective microbes. Mastitis refers to the inflammation of the adder due to an infection that is mostly caused by bacteria to gain entry into the adder through the teat canal. Since milk is highly nutritious, it forms a good habitat for bacteria proliferation in the udder. The bacteria are usually from a dirty cow shed, dirty milkers' hands, or from systemic infection. Signs of mastitis include a swollen udder, hot udder, painful tits, flakes, pus, or blood in milk, reduced appetite, among others. To prevent mastitis, observance of cleanliness in the cow shed is key. It is also prudent to treat cows promptly when they fall sick. Feed cows immediately after milking to give time for the tit sphincter to close. Thoroughly clean the milker's hands, disinfect the milking machine, teat dipping, having a separate udder cloth for each cow, routine mastitis screening using a cow side test, that is the California mastitis test, also known as CMT, and milking sick cows last. Simon prevents mastitis by maintaining cleanliness. You may treat it with nobe or mastitis in back as as in sinner she day. So what I do I did the kutengeneza kunakuwa kusaf maintain cleanliness. Pali sina lala naona ni dry. Awa akuna pali ngombe ita pata ucha germs. So mpaka sasa mastitis it's no more an issue. So I'm going to tattoo for mastitis, chronic mastitis, because I'm going to be So I have maintained cleanliness. I'm going to wash my hands, wash my hands, wash my hands.